Hey you guys, coronavirus check. Is everyone surviving the quarantine of staying inside? Ah, I'm going bonkers. All right, so I'm gonna jump online. I wanna, you know, put that, get all my makeup. And I wanna show you guys, I got palette two. It is so pretty, isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna show the colors. Well, put some on for fun, even though I'm not really going out. So this is palette two that I'm going to be demonstrating. Hey, Kelly. So um, the palettes are in this month's kudos. So once they're gone, they're gone because Unique is going to be basically retiring them and not selling them anymore. <laughs> I love the palettes. They're so much fun. So this is addiction to you all. So... I'm going to put it to the side, but I'm going to throw on some foundation and get clammed up because I'm not going anywhere, really. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be using Mineral Touch Foundation today. This is Eyelet. Hey, Jen, how are you? Are you surviving the coronavirus? <laughs> okay, I'm going to use some Scarlet Concealer. Put a little bit on. Hey, Tracy. Putting on my concealer. Hey, Tish. As I call it, coronavirus check. <laughs> I've been on TikTok too much. Everyone says that tick on TikTok they go coronavirus check, and it's like, oh my gosh, kill me. <laughs> okay. So I am going to put on some foundation. Hey, Nikki. So, hey, Kelly. How are you? Hi, Nirmala. Okay, so I am just throwing on some foundation. So, I can glam up for myself. So I am using the Mineral Touch Foundation this turns into a powder after you put it on. It's amazing stuff. I always use primer. So I use face primer before. And usually we'll let it sit for like four to five minutes. Then it holds your makeup on longer. Oh, I'm glad you're good. Are you surviving the coronavirus? I know I am. I woke up today and went to CVS and they still had toilet paper there, you guys. So, okay. I got my foundation on. And you know what? I left my bronzer in my car I'm with my other makeup bag. Whoops. I hate when that happens. Yeah, so there's still toilet paper at CVS in Garland. If you guys are from here, I know some most there's some that are. Okay, so I got my foundation on. Hey, Carrie, how are you? Okay, so I got that all good and blending in. Um, you know, since I don't have my bronzer, should we do a little contouring real quick? Let's do a little contouring. Hey, Danny. So, I left my bronzer in my car. So, we're going to just do some contouring. Hey, Roseanne. So, this is our Trio Contouring Kit. It's amazing. And it will give you a guided map when you're putting on your contour. So, and you can tell I've used it quite a bit. <laughs> So, we're going to first just start with the dark. Bam! Dark. And I'm going to just go around my edge of my face here. So, and that way. Usually, I just, you know, contour with my bronzer. It makes it faster. But, I forgot it. <laughs> so, you can use you can use any type of brush. I'm just grabbing... This and then um, it's gonna go along my jawbone here. Can you guys see? 
So contouring is not that bad. It just takes some practice. Hey, Jenny It just takes practice when you're using it. And we'll go along this side. And on the forehead. I might want a different brush. But I am. You know, I'm going to use... I'm switching brushes. So I've been cleaning some today. I've been doing my laundry, getting it done, taking advantage of doing some housework. And just hanging out. Is everyone else going like cabin fever crazy? Because it could be, you know, very crazy. So I'm just doing contouring my nose. And then I'm going to take this smaller brush and just kind of blend it in. Okay. And let's go back. Do a little contouring. I'll blend that in in a second. So I am improvising because I forgot my bronzer. So this is the contouring kit that I'm using. So there's different types of bronzing, uh, bronzing contouring that you can do. So. Okay. Just getting it done. Okay, that's all it takes. Simple, simple. All right. So probably you could take a... You can take your kabuki brush, or I'm just going to take a smaller brush and blend it in. I did it on my nose. Make sure I get it blended in so I don't look like I have dirt on my face. <laughs> I could totally see that happening. So... Make sure I got it good and blended in. Hey, Danny. So, so that is contouring. So you can use a highlighter. Maybe I'll just use the highlighter for fun real quick. Get my other brush. Okay. So, again, there's a map on how to highlight. So, I'm doing the middle section. So, I should probably kind of follow it. I don't always because I kind of I have my own method. But if you're new at contouring, you can just follow the map on the trio kit here. So, if you want to put some on your... Yeah. Then it says you can put it on the bridge of your nose here. A little bit on my... Okay, and then you can put a little bit here. There. <laughs> you can definitely have your own way of contouring. All right, woo, okay. So that's the trio. And then what I typically like to do is put on some blush and I'm gonna use Sweet. So what are you guys doing to stay entertained today? So I'm gonna take my blush. Anyone have any fun stuff they're doing at home? So I tap off the excess product when I'm putting on my blush. Okay. There we go. Hey, Victoria. All right. So I'm good. I got my foundation on, my blush on. I'm good. Okay. So I'm going to be using Addiction Palette 2. Let me find it. 
Hoopla! It's in this month's kudos. But I need to blend in that. Make sure my contouring is not blended in. There we go. Better. <laughs> okay, so you get this in this month's kudos. You can choose any palette that you want. And I haven't used this palette yet. I just got it. I'm going to be putting on some eye primer. Eye primer does help hold your eyeshadow longer, so it's really good to have that. So I'm just applying a little bit on my finger, and then I pull it all over my eye. Okay, and I'm doing it to the other side. Okay, got my eye primer on. Hey, Margaret, or I should say, hey, Meg. You're hiding home movies. That's what I've been doing too. I've been watching my, my shows, getting caught up. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to decide. So you get seven colors you can choose from. And that's awesome. And then I'm going to probably choose a transition color. I'm going to go with honorable. It's kind of a light brown color here. So let's get my, hope this is dry. I cleaned out off my brushes today. So I'm going to use a crease fluffy, uh, fluffy crease brush from Unique. If I could get really fancy, I sometimes will put on ma masking tape, but I'm not going to. So, and then tap off, and then I'm just going to go in the crease here. So I haven't used this palette before. I hope I don't flop on the eyeshadow. <laughs> if I do, it's okay. You don't have to be perfect at this. Hey, Alley Cat. Okay, I am using Honorable. Let's see how I like it. And just wanna. So when you put your eyeshadow in the crease, you can do circular motions or you can go back and forth. I tend to do both when I'm putting it on. So. I'm just doing a, like a transition color. It's kind of a light brownish color. Jump over to this eye. I'm gonna try to keep it consistent with both eyes. <laughs> so this palette has your grays colors. Hey Bobby. Let's have grays and couple browns so if you want to get really dram dramatic with this eyeshadow palette you can get those smoky eye look yeah okay and I'm circling how are you doing thanks it's, they are really nice colors. I, I think they're a lot of fun. We'll find out how fun they are. <laughs> okay, I'm just doing it a little bit more. So you could go as dramatic as you want. So. I am using palette two. Palette two. This is palette two. So I'm just working on the crease okay so got that going and I'm gonna use and I should tell you what so this is the angled shadow brushes these are fun to apply your eyeshadows on and I think I'm gonna go with blissful blissful is a pretty shimmery brown color like light, light brown tannish color and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my setting spray. You could do setting spray or even if you have water, you just turn on the tap water and dab your um, 
eyeshadow sponge here. I like it a little damp because it will really make your color stand out. So, little trick with eyeshadow. Okay, putting it on my lid. But look how pretty that is, it's so shimmery. Very pretty shimmery color. So you get this in this month's kudos and you get a choice of liquid liner or dip liner. Liquid liner, I mean, dip liner and just regular liner. I can't. <laughs> so you get a choice of that and you get a choice of mascara and of course, palette. You get to choose your palette. So, just putting on. This color is called Blissful. Blissful is what I'm putting on. But it's really a pretty color. Okay. So, a little trick. I'm going to take my index finger here and grab a bit of Blissful. Put it in the corner of my eye hair to give it a little pop. Okay, so and then we'll move over to the other eye. Okay. So again, when I spray or put water on my brushes, it'll just help the colors be more potent. So, it's fun. You know, we'll just make it stand out more. And you could actually, I'm just kind of, you can pat it on if you want, or you can kind of, I think that's kind of doing the spreading. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Okay. Again, I'm going to take my index finger and get some more blissful. Uh, put it in the corner of my eye here. Okay, kind of give it a pop, see what time it is, okay. And I'm gonna, I'm just looking at the colors. I don't wanna go too cray cray because you can make your corner eye smoky. I'm just seeing what would look good. Um, maybe we'll go with the room. Let me splotch it real quick because I don't want to like put it on and then it look bad. <laughs> so I'm going to test out Romantic here. It's kind of a gray shimmery color. It's really pretty. Maybe I'll do that. Or let's check Hopeless. So this is a good way to test your colors out. If you're not sure, you can just put it on your hand and see if that's what you want to do. Or oh, and... Maybe, okay, I'm going to grab another brush here, let me just check one more color, maybe that, okay, I'm going to go with prep, prep, ah, kind of a little bit darker, okay, I'm just going to grab a little, because you don't want to go too much, because if you grab a lot, then you're going <laughs> to... Maybe not like it, because you can make it as dark as you want. But I'm just doing it in the corner of my eye here to kind of give it a smoky color. Hey, April. Okay. And then I'm going to take my blending brush here. It's kind of blend it out. So this is kind of how you can get your smoky eye look. That's pretty. How's it going? Keeping yourself entertained. Okay, I'm gonna go over to my other eye here. And what I do, my corner eyes, you can do it like a triangle. I'm just doing a little bit here. I'm not, if you're gonna go out, you can definitely make it more drama, you know, 
bolder if you want. Bold, dramatizing. Okay, and just blending that in. Making sure it goes on okay. Okay, then next, I am going to use, I think I'm going to use romance for my brow. Little romance. So. Ooh. so this is the palette too I am using. Some of you have been asking. Yes, yes it is. It's palette two. Palette two has these Beautiful colors. So, I'm going to show you another trick because I need to highlight my brows. But usually on the palettes, you can take them. I'm going to see if this is, it might be too dark for me. Let me just check. So, you could take like a brow pencil here. Oh, that should be okay. So this is called Cody. So you can use it over your brows. I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it doesn't make me look like a clown. So I just take my brow pencil here. So your liner shadow pencil. And let's see how it does. Maybe that's too dark for me. Might be too dark for you guys. <laughs> so. I'm gonna probably not attempt it any further because I feel like it's too dark for me. So I'm gonna grab, I have a brow palette that I like using, but that's what I like about the Addiction palettes because you can use it for your brows. Most of them work, but that one is just a little bit too dark. Okay. I'm going to show you guys the Brow Obsession Palette. These are the colors you get with it. And we have light, medium, and dark. And I'm using, um, the which one am I using? Hmm, I don't know. I think it's the lighter one. Okay, so let me grab my brow brush. So, fill my brow. I just comb it out. And I'm going to use number one here. Yeah. This is definitely a safer color for me than on the palette two. <laughs> palette two has really pretty colors. It's just that when I went to use it for my brow, not going to work. At least I tried, right? <laughs> And art, yeah, shadows are really fun, April, to use with your brows. So that's, I get it. They can be really hard. Okay, I'm using now number two on my palette here. Number two. Probably don't need to go much darker because... Ooh, okay, so that's the that's a brow palette that I was using. So another trick that you could do. Let me. I'm going back to palette two, and making sure my brush is clean. You can use the brow palette as an underliner. So, um, I'll go back to Perplex. We'll see how it works. So you can use it like an eyeliner. So, really nice when you can use a palette for multiple things other than this eyeshadow. You can use it for your eyebrows or eyeliner. I'm not going to go too cray cray with it. You can even spray it with like um, setting spray or put a dab of water to make it more potent. No, it, 
it normally, no, it doesn't smear with the pencil. That's why I like doing it when I put it on. Okay, so there you go. Something simple, easy. And if you guys know me, I don't really typically like wearing eyeliner because I get allergies and then it just, <laughs> I rub my eyes and we shouldn't be rubbing our eyes right now, but uh, I can't help it. All right, let's put on some lippy and mascara. I'm trying to decide what color. And again, most of my lipsticks are either in my purse or in my make other makeup bag. Let me see what I got in here. Aha! Uh -huh. I got hotting. And maybe we'll go with sizzling today. It's red. I haven't worn bright red in a while. Okay. I'll see how I deal with this. Hello, red. So this is sizzling. I'm gonna throw on some hottie. Hottie will help make your lips plumper. So. Ooh, okay. Let's throw on some mascara. So this is the lash primer. I'm just going to throw a little bit on my eyes here. This will help volumize your lashes. And uh, that's amazing wonders. Okay. You can put it on your bottom lashes, but I'm going to avoid doing that right now. So this is 4D Mascara. Amazing, amazing. If you guys have not tried this in, you gotta. It's so good. Okay. And you can twist or you can wiggle. It's just your preference. I did curl my lashes. You can curl it, but I didn't. Then let's put on the other eye. And don't pump your mascara because it will dry out your mascara bottle. We don't want that. No way. Okay. So a lash primer and <laughs> good luck Bobby thanks for stopping by appreciate you watching makeup challenge is always fun So there you go, you guys. So that's a 4D mascara. And to finish things up, I'm gonna put on some setting spray to hold my makeup. Voila! All right, you guys. Thanks for checking in. And goodbye, Bobby. And you guys have a good weekend. You know, stay away from the, fire, the coronavirus. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.